Hi and welcome to another Tech Minds video. So today we have the Easy SMX and this time it's a gamepad. Now I ordered this from Amazon along with the mouse that you can go and check out in my last video and today we're going to unbox it. Now I haven't unboxed it yet but this is the box that it comes in. Now it's a gamepad, it says customized controller, consistent choice whatever that means. Um, now looking at the packaging here, we have got, we've got Android, uh, we've got a, looks like a PC screen and a PS3. So it looks like this gamepad can be used with all three. No mention of iPhone or PS4 or Xbox. So it does look like it's only gonna be supported on those particular, uh, those particular products. Anyway, let's have a look inside the box. Okay, so this controller's white. It's got a very familiar kind of uh, layout on, on first glance. It, it kind of looks like an Xbox controller uh, crossed with a PlayStation controller because we've got the uh, two kind of um, uh, analog sticks here and the D-pad here and the normal uh, X, Y, A and B buttons over here to the right. Um, but the actual look of it does look like a Xbox One controller. Let's just take it out of the package and see what we get. Okay. Okay, so don't need that plastic. Okay, there's another cable and looks like there's some kind of uh, user manual as well. Okay, so that's the box. Let's just pop that over to the side. So what do we get in the box? Um, like I said before, so we get the user manual and we've got a, uh, actually it's an extension cable. It's a USB extension cable, which is pretty damn cool. Um, it does feel plasticky. It's not braided like the mouse that we reviewed, unfortunately, um, but uh, maybe it will do the job. Okay, so let's go over to the main controller itself. Okay, so it feels just like a Xbox One controller, uh, just the way that uh, you can hold your hands here on the side. Um, the only obviously major difference here is the fact that the analog sticks are here instead of the left analog stick being up here and the D-pad being uh, in this place here. So we have a home button, select, start. I presume all of these can be configurable. So on the other side, it just looks like a normal kind of controller. We have the um, LB, RB, RT, LT. So they're your four triggers and shoulder buttons. They feel okay. They don't feel too bad. Um, quite a bit of resistance on the uh, trigger buttons here at the bottom, the LT and RT. Uh, the shoulder buttons feel quite responsive. And the way that your hand fits and molds underneath does feel really nice and comfortable. So the USB connection that we have here is one of the sort of mini USB uh, connections, which uh, you most likely normally see on a phone, which is probably why it's got Android support which is great. So I'd imagine then if you want to use it with an Android device, uh, you can actually just plug this directly into your Android device. And if you want to use it with the PC, then as well as being an extension cable, uh, it's also like a converter. So you're going from the smaller USB connection to the larger USB connection, which will fit onto your PC. Okay, so let's uh, Let's plug it into the PC and uh, and see what it's like. Okay, so we've got the extension cable plugged in and so converter so we can plug it into the PC. I'm just going to plug it in now and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've plugged it in and immediately we have some lights which have uh, lit up at the bottom. It's uh, indicating two blue lights here. Um, I currently have uh, Minecraft running. Uh, on the um, PC at the moment, so we're just going to see uh, if we can control Minecraft using this controller. So let me just move it so you can see. 
Okay, so we now have Minecraft loaded. We have the uh, controller plugged into my PC. So let's see if we can control it. Okay, so the D-pad appears to be working. Uh, let's see if the A button works. Okay, nice. That is working. I'm going to select a select a world. And there we go. We are in the game. Yes. Now, granted, you can't see the whole screen, um, but uh, you should be able to see uh, my hands move. And, oh my goodness, I don't really play this game. This is uh, uh, a game that my son would normally play. I think for the price, this is a really good um, controller which you can plug into your PC and obviously your Android phone and also your PS3. So this is the Easy SMX Gamepad. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description if you wish to purchase this. Uh, like I said, I ordered this from Amazon uh, and it came pretty quickly. Um, the feel of it does feel a little bit kind of cheap. But, you know, um, if you want to save yourself a whole load of money instead of buying these really high, you know, uh, high, highly priced branded products, don't worry about that. Get one of these. This is uh, this does everything that you need. Um, uh, it has all of the buttons that a normal controller would have and it works extremely well. So if you've got children that uh, go through controllers uh, every other week, just like I do, then you would probably want to start looking at getting something like this. It's very, very cheap, very, very good, very well made, and uh, and most importantly, it works. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.